Hi, I'm Lena Hyde. I have a studio in Palm Beach, Florida, and I have clients all around the world. I shoot babies and children and families using natural light. And my passion is really teaching photographers how to combine their love of the art of photography with the art of the business end and bringing the two together to succeed. I hope you enjoy my segment. Welcome to the Mark Silver Show, Advancing Your Photography, where we bring you tips from remarkable photographers about how to take photographs you love. Lena, thanks for joining us on Advancing Your Photography. My pleasure. Tell me about your approach to photography and the type of work you love to do. Well, I started out as an exhibiting artist and I was um, actually living here in San Francisco for 11 years showing my work in museums and galleries and I was teaching art as well and writing for the Chronicle. Hmm. That sort of evolved when I had my first son in 2001 and I started shooting him, sort of my style. Back then I was using film, of course, and I, I noticed that I created somewhat of a demand for a more alternative approach to shooting babies and children. And people started asking me if I would take pictures of their children. And that's sort of what started the business. And um, it kind of built itself. I moved to Palm Beach when he was just a month old and um, didn't really want to be teaching anymore. The photography kind of took over just naturally. And now that's all I do. I shot weddings for a little while, but it wasn't really for me, um, being that far committed out and being away from my family so long wasn't really a good match. Right. With shooting children, it's, um, it's quick, it's fun, and um, I build a relationship that lasts a long time, which I like. Wonderful. Okay, so in regards to shooting children, what are some of the key things that you use every time you pick up a camera or even before you pick up a camera? You know, compared to a wedding photographer, my bag is very light, especially because I don't use artificial lighting. I use all natural light. Mm -hmm. So you'd be surprised. It's me in a little bag. I keep a backup equipment in my car because I don't like to show up with a lot of things. Children kind of get afraid when there's mm -hmm. all this mysterious um, equipment. Most of the time I'll use two or three lenses. I really like the the 24 to 70 2.8. I love the 70 to 200 2.8 and I'll usually charge up the night before so don't need an extra battery and then I'll bring some cards, some CF cards. I like to use you know the 4 or the 8 gig and um, then sometimes I'll have some little finger puppets, which you probably don't hear a lot about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me about that. How do you so, use them? So, you know, if a child, I like to kind of get to know the child first. And sometimes even ahead of time, I'll ask the parents before I even get there. Tell me about your family and your children and their personalities and who's shy and what are they into. And sometimes I'll have a few surprises in my bag. And um, I have, I can put four finger puppets on while I'm shooting. <laughs> and sometimes those puppets will be the shooters too. And they'll have different voices. And it really engages the child more than some new lady that's over at their house. Right. So we'll do a little peekaboo for a baby. Maybe I'll have like a squeaky thing and things you don't really think about when you're shooting adults. Right. What are some of the step-by-steps that you follow when you arrive at a shoot? Well, when I first arrive, and I do shoot mostly on location, I will ask the parents to show me around the house, and I'll say, show me the brightest rooms in the house with natural light. Mm -hmm. And I'll kind of see what looks good visually, what space would represent their style for a finished product, and you know, what just looks good. So places without clutter, places with good natural light, and um, you know, an appropriate decor. 
Right. So while I'm looking for places to shoot, I'll also be looking for places that I can suggest a photography collection mm -hmm. be hung on the walls when we're done with the shoot. Smart from a business standpoint. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you draw the kind of emotions out that you're looking for? Really depends on the age. I love shooting newborns, but I don't really have that happening yet, that connection yet. Um, I think a newborn is sort of the most magical age. Mm -hmm. um, so for that, I would get the parents involved and, um, you know, kind of get that emotion from them being with the baby. And I'll, I'll talk to them about it through the whole shoot. We're always talking. Right. Later on with a child, it really depends on their personality to kind of see what direction I go in. Are there any tricks or tips for getting a really natural look when shooting children? For me, I find that instead of using a studio situation with a backdrop and things that aren't really natural in a child's world, such as lighting equipment and unnatural props, I spend the time to go to the client and to shoot in their world for many reasons. One, because they do make the family more comfortable being on their own turf. Kids are already more relaxed. They want to show off their room. And, um, you know, I think it's just a lot easier for people. And it's twofold because in the end, the images that are shot in their environment are going to go well, to match, to, to be on their walls and to be in their albums. So it's twofold. When I look back at my childhood pictures, I want to see my old house what the rooms looked like. It's just um, maybe sentimental reasons too. Mm -hmm. I think it's important to have that history and to be able to look back from years and years and remember. How about lighting tips? I love to use natural light. I don't use a tripod or a reflector because I'm running around chasing a child and I want the shoot to be as easy as possible for the child without worrying about what's that big round thing over there? Mm -hmm. Why does that keep flashing on me? So for me, as little as possible, I'm in Palm Beach, Florida, where the light is either excruciatingly bright or nothing. And a lot of the homes are very dark there. You'd be surprised. So moving close into a light, um, getting some good directional sunlight, being in a covered patio, looking for um, a, maybe a room with a white wall to reflect, even wearing a white shirt to reflect, mm -hmm. anything that can kind of help you in maybe a more subtle way. Mm -hmm. And I always also ask, when do you have the brightest light in your home? I also ask, when are the kids the happiest? And usually with children, it's the morning. Okay, Lena, any final tips for viewers who just want to get better photographs of their children? Yeah, just shooting your kids, I think. Have a good time with them. Don't force them. Shoot a lot. Shoot from different angles. Turn off your flash. Learn to work your camera's manual mode. And um, just shoot like crazy. It's digital, you know? Thanks for joining us on Advancing Your Photography and for giving us an inside look at your world. Thanks for having me. It's been terrific. Be sure to subscribe to our blog now to stay updated on my show. And we'll give you tips and insight to keep advancing your photography. Also, check out our guests' website for a closer look at their work. Tune in to our next episode of Advancing Your Photography for an inside look at another photographer's world. Until then, this is Mark Silver reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life.